Good morning guys and welcome to my first ever mom motivation series video. So today, as you can see, I am bright and like fluffy puffy right out of bed. First off, I wasn't able to film this ahead of time because, because I had been um, cooking a full Thanksgiving meal for you guys yesterday. But B, the reason why I'm recording this this morning is I thought what better way to motivate you on a Monday than to show you me on a Monday, right? So this is my Monday routine, okay? And I'm gonna kinda do a vlog style, I'm gonna motivate you guys and really show you how you can kick butt and get through that to-do list even though you really don't want to. I really don't want to, I'm feeling pretty crunchy this morning, woke up to some more snow on the ground. Just very tired. So, when I wake up crunchy and tired, I make myself a really good breakfast. Right now, I'm trying to be more keto, so that is what I'm going to do just in between the holidays. I'm trying to stay like low carb keto so that I can like keep off that extra weight. So there's some like dieting motivation for you guys. Um, and then also I'm trying to get onto my elliptical just for a little bit. I prefer going on walks and I do have my eyes on a Nordic track treadmill, but eventually the elliptical will do for now. So I'm gonna try and get on the elliptical for about 20 to 30 minutes, get my body moving. I'm gonna make myself a to-do list when I sit down with my breakfast. And then I'm going to make myself a cold brew coffee, which I will show you guys exactly how I do that. And then I'm gonna show you what is next in my routine, which is usually going over my schedule for the week and my finances. I like to redo that once a week just to make sure that we're on track for everything, especially this time of year. And keeping myself and my husband on track because we tend to be overspenders. Mike will go out to eat every single day of the week if he can. So I like to just remind him and be like, hey, there's leftovers in the house today. Like, make sure that you um, come home and eat lunch instead of like going out to eat five times a week because that does add up and those are definitely things that you can cut out of your um, finances. So, all right guys, first things first, let me make myself and the kids some breakfast here. I've got Christmas movies going on in the background for them and then I'll show you my iced coffee recipe. Also, after like making that entire Thanksgiving meal by myself, I was so tired. I did not put any of it away. I didn't do any of my dishes. And I know I'm not the only one who does this, but I didn't have like an entire family here to help me clean and cook up like usual. So I just figured I would leave it for today. So stay tuned for that in a cleaning motivation video that'll go up on Friday because Wednesday's video will include the recipes from all of this goodness. So anyway. Real life, guys, I am a real person. I do not have a maid. I do all of this myself with the kids at home. So, I don't know, I just like to like show you guys that, like the real side of YouTube and the YouTubers, right? Like, I'm a real life person and this is what my life looks like. <laughs> all right, I said we're doing vlog style, so here we go. I've got a bowl and I am going to crack all of my eggs right into it. And then after I have all the eggs in the bowl, I actually will add just a dash of water. This will make them nice and fluffy. A little bit of pepper. A little bit of salt. Mix it. A little bit of nonstick spray. And then I like to keep this at three. I super scrambled eggs in. Now, the key to my scrambled eggs. Okay. All right, so next thing that I do is I will chug like this entire thing of water or like as much as I possibly can in like a 10 minute period. So right now it's like 9.20 and my skin is so shiny because I did a moisture surge mask last night. And by the way, I haven't like brushed my teeth or brushed my hair yet. I usually don't get ready until after breakfast because I don't like to get food in my clean teeth. So anyway, I'm gonna chug this water. It's a huge thing of water with lots of ice. I'm gonna chug it in the next 10 minutes to wake my body up and make me feel a lot less puffy. <laughs> oh, it's cool. Almost gone. Ooh, I got a brain freeze. That's so cool the water is. Done. <laughs> Okay, and then what I will do is I will fill it up immediately with some more water, and then I add a little something, something to spice it up a little bit. All right, before I do my water, 
I want to show you guys. So I've just been letting this sit here, kit free. I'm even going to turn it down to one now. And I kind of chopped it a little bit, but I like to flip my eggs, okay? Because I like them big and fluffy. Now I'm just going to let them sit like this. And then I will come back in a minute, add a little bit of shredded cheese, and then we're good to go. So this is my supplement cupboard, and you can bet that I am here every single morning, um, especially now that we're getting into cold and flu season. Um, one of my most favorite things, oh, this is mine, but my, I mean, I have to, I'm literally going to hide these. There's four left, and these are mine, and Mike steals them. Okay, so these are Liquid IV, they're Hydration Multiplier. I'm sure you guys have heard about them before. Um, I first heard about them when I was breastfeeding with Riker and I like heard amazing magical things about these. Um, so one stick is equal to three bottles of water so in like one glass of water. Anyways, there's 16 individual packs, like sticks in a pack. So I try to take these at least every other morning just because I feel so much better when I take these. You guys, the, the energy and my like physical like body, like the difference that I feel is insane. So definitely like during cold and flu season, make sure that you're keeping up on your water and using a um, hydration multiplier because you're gonna feel so much better. So during cold and flu season, this is like our secret weapon. We absolutely love this stuff and I actually have a discount code for you guys down below so you can get it cheaper than you can at Costco and it gives you free shipping. I believe it's 20% off and free shipping. I'll have the code linked down below for you guys um, as well as the link. Um, super awesome stuff. It's not sponsored by them, this is just like amazing stuff. Um, anyways, I do have a discount code for you guys down below and then I will have um, a link for you as well. But um, I am currently using the strawberry. Super good strawberry, watermelon's really good. I even like the lemon lime um, and I really like their lemon lime energy mix too. And they have a, um, they have an immune one as well. The next thing on my list to buy is their immune support one um, because I've just been using emergency. So, so anyway, in the morning I take liquid IV on Mondays, always. Always liquid IV on Mondays. Vitamin C. And then I will take my probiotics, which I just use the um, pearls. And then I will take my d manos to keep those UTIs away. A little bit of potassium because nobody can fill the potassium holes in their diet no matter how hard they try. Unless they're eating like copious amounts of bananas and kale and things like that. And I mean like copious. It's insane, insane amounts. Um, resveratrol to keep the inflammation away. Has great antioxidants, promotes healthy aging and powerful cardi cardiovascular support. I am 28 guys, okay? I am 28 years old. I know I don't need to be taking something like this, but I take it for preventative purposes. Um, anyway, resveratrol has great, great, great benefits. Go and do yourself some research. Um, and then somewhere in here I also have elderberry. We love elderberry here in the house. And my multi, and I can't take my multi without food, otherwise I vomit. True story, I and I have done this before. On my way to work in a Qdoba bowl. And then these are for the kids. They take these, I usually get them off Amazon, um, and these are on Amazon. This one is actually at Target as well, so it's Target and Amazon friendly. Um, but Kai gets two of these and one of these, Riker gets one and one. Um, and again, these are elderberry gummies and they um, boost the immune system, great for adults and children, and they also contain additional vitamin C and zinc, which is great for fighting colds. Oh my god, there's so much like madness and noise going on right now in the house. We've got like iPad, TV, all the things going. Okay, um, now the cheese is melted. I put that cheese on. I didn't show you guys because I figured you probably didn't need to see me putting on cheese. You know how to do it. Um, anyway, so. I like to just put half on a plate. Very messy. Wow, I'm amazing. Okay, that definitely was not half. So my kids will not eat that much food. Um, I like to keep the crunchy part of the eggs. I hate that. I hate when eggs get like that weird. Like sometimes it sticks to the bottom of the pan. It gets like that weird spongy texture. Um, I don't like when it gets like that, and I don't like when it has these like crispies. I'm very picky about my scrambled eggs. I didn't like, to, I didn't used to like them. Um, I like over easy more so, but um, 
my grandma makes the best scrambled eggs so I always liked her eggs so I started making them like her and they're just like really fluffy and creamy and they're so delicious okay so anyways and then I like to serve mine up with a little bit of avocado and salsa and the kids will just eat it like this with an orange on the side and then we're good to go Again, my counter is a mess because I didn't put anything away last night, not even my glass for my wine. So, so let me share with you my iced coffee recipe. Um, I have been using this Stoke Stock Cold Brew. I don't, I think this is Stoke. Um, but this stuff is really good, it's unsweetened, this is keto friendly, so I like to add that first. Um, I do have an espresso machine as well, which is really yummy for making iced espresso shots. So I will bring you a couple of recipes this week because I also have a sugar-free um, peppermint mocha frappuccino that I want to share with you guys because that is one of my favorites, but I want to do it healthy, keto-friendly, um, and then share it with you guys. So anyways, okay, so first I will add this. Okay, first off, you're going to take your Nespresso, um, like, aerator or whatever it's called, the whipper upper. I just fin I I finished. Don't know what I'm talking about. I will fill this to the minimum line in here, put the cover on, and then I hold the button down until it turns blue. If you hold it for just two seconds, if you just go quick, that will do um, like hot uh, foam, and then if you hold it down for longer, it'll do cold foam. Next thing that I like to do is I like to add a tablespoon of the salted caramel um, skinny syrup. There's zero sugar in here, um, so no carbs, no sugar, no nothing. I love the skinny syrups, and I will be doing a peppermint mocha one for you guys um, with those syrups here very soon. Um, okay, so anyway, I'm... Then going to mix this with my little handheld guy. If you guys don't have one of these, they're like $10 on Amazon. They're super bomb. And if you don't have an aerator um, or like the whipper up or like I call it, um, one of these will whip up your foam. Super nice. So after it is done, the light turns off, it means it's done. Then I just add the cold foam on top like so. Which, look how beautiful that copy is. I love my Nespresso machine and I love my air, the aerator or whatever, the frother. I love it so much because it does hot and cold. And I can have like Starbucks type drinks at home all the time, whether it be hot or cold. Um, during the fall I was doing a little bit of pumpkin pie spice. Now I'll do a little bit of cinnamon. That's a lot of bit of cinnamon, but you get the gist. So. Ain't she a beaut? And that is what gives me my energy for the day. I got all in here. Because it's Monday, I also I'm going to add a little razzle dazzle. So this is queso. Queso. And the beauty about keto is things like this are well within the limits. Amazing. So that is my breakfast for the morning. Okay, so. Again, I know I look like a hot mess, but this is like the truest version of me. Like early in the morning, I feel very motivated to get all of the things done. So I just, it just felt natural to talk to you guys about motivation when this is the most motivational part of my day or motivated part of my day. So anyway, I'm sitting down, I'm eating my awesome breakfast. I have my vitamins here and I usually take those after I get a little bit of food in my belly. I got my emergency. I've got my coffee and my liquid IV. I've got all of the drinks after I finish this power combo of hydration. I seriously feel like I could go a million miles an hour. Um, and that is how I make it through my days. But while I sit here in the morning, um, I will go through our M&M Rustics schedule. So for you guys, if you, whether you work from home or whether you work in the office, I used to do this exact same thing whether I worked from home for myself or whether I was in the office. When I got to the office in the mornings after I would drop the kids off at daycare, then I would sit down with my coffee at my desk and I would go through everything I wanted to accomplish for the week in the office. And for those of you who do not know, I used to be an accountant and I had a lot of things I had to get done. So I would go through all of the most highest priority things, the things I knew that was that were going to take me quite a while. 
So basically it just went from like most important to least important things. Not saying that something is not important, just saying like what is the most pressing. In accounting it feels like everything is pressing. So anyway, life is much different now and I'm very grateful for that. Not that I didn't enjoy my life as an accountant, like working my eight to five job, I loved what I did. I really, really loved being an accountant, but becoming a mom, my heart just changed so much. Um, and then after we started our own businesses, my heart changed a lot. And I learned that I really am an entrepreneurial spirit and I found my calling in life doing M&M Rustics and working the social medias and decorating and designing and building furniture, all of those things. Um, and eventually Mike and I want to flip houses. Like this is the life, it feels right. And I'm just answering my calling that I believe that I was put here on my, that I believe I was put here on this planet to do. So if you guys don't feel like that, the only reason why I went into that little off like rant there is because if you guys don't feel like you are doing what you're meant to do on this planet, take a step back, analyze, take a breath, and start thinking, if you're not happy in what you're doing, is there any way that, that you can change it? Can you experiment? What are the things that you love to do in life? Do you love to be a stay-at-home mom, but you just don't know how to figure it out? There's lots of work-from-home jobs. So like Amazon, Amazon has tons of work-from-home jobs. Um, if you feel like that is your calling, is just to stay home with your kids and like work a you know an at home job, or is there something that you're really passionate about? Do you love fashion? Do you like to make clothing? Do you like to make signs? Do you like to make decor? Do you like to make furniture like Mike and I do? Do you like to do DIYs? Like, what is your calling in life? And then follow that calling anyways if you guys just don't feel like you are following your calling in life switch it up a little bit and i'm going to be the first one to tell you you're going to need to be patient with it because it takes a long time to make those dreams and goals really happen and make them um able to financially float you <laughs> It'll take a little while, but it'll get there. So be patient with it. It'll happen. All right, so back to the planner. I will sit down. I will look through my planner to see um, what all we got done off of the schedule this weekend. I will cross them off, and then I will see who is coming up for the next week and what materials Mike is going to need to buy when he gets off of work on Monday nights. Typically, that's when he runs and gets materials. After I've gone through the schedule, crossed off who we've gotten done, gone through what we're going to be doing for like the next week. Oh, sorry. And then I will go through our finances. Um, usually remind Mike that he doesn't need to go out to eat. And then I will um, just make sure that we're on track for everything, okay? Finish the finances. I will close all of this up. Usually Mondays are our later mornings, our late start mornings. So right now it's around 10 o'clock and sometimes I will bring Kaya to, uh, to preschool daycare on Mondays and sometimes I do not. Um, just depending on how busy of a Monday we have. Um, and then she'll go to preschool for the remainder of the week. This morning I do plan to have her over at daycare by about 11 o'clock because Riker is gonna go down for a nap and I am going to get a ton of stuff done. Um, I need to clean all of this and I need to stay on track for my videos this week. I need to reach out to a couple of friends um, and touch base with them. So that is what I will do. I have a planner just for Eminem Rustics and I have a planner. Now this is personal in YouTube. I've explained this before, but I like to combine my personal in YouTube because a lot of times they just align my personal life and YouTube because like for example like um if I'm cooking like I'm recording a cooking video like a Thanksgiving cook with me video um that's part of my like normal life you know what I mean and I will go through all of the goodness coming up for YouTube this week which I can see right off the bat that I have a DIY coming up for you guys over on the Eminem Rustics channel as well on Wednesday and this keeps me accountable for it um, and reminds me that I need to get that done and I need to get my thanks giving recipe video done for you guys both by Wednesday one video will be here on my channel one video will be over on the Eminem Rustics channel this just keeps me in line now I have a lot of blog and website work to do this week and it really overwhelms me because I don't know what I'm doing so I feel like that's a really good example of procrastination because that is the one thing I do not feel like doing I don't want to write the blog because 
I know I'm just gonna have to rewrite it again in a week once we transfer over to the new blog website, which is just, we're just transferring from Wix to WordPress. But all right, you guys, that is going to wrap it up for this mom motivation video. As soon as, if you guys are curious, like as to what my routine is, as soon as I get this part of my day done on Mondays, um, I get everybody dressed, I brush my teeth, I dry shampoo my hair, and I will brush my hair, get the skincare done, get the kids all nice and warm and cozy because it is cold outside. I will start my vehicle ahead of time, get their boots and jackets on, head out to daycare, come back, put Riker down for a nap, or give him a little snack, put him down for a nap, and then I get going on all of my other things that I need to film and I and like the things I need to edit. So today I'm focusing on cleaning this up, obviously, <laughs> and then I will start editing my two videos. And then I have um, some family members coming over at about five o'clock, and then I have an appointment at six. Today's a full day. All right, you guys, I will see you on Wednesday for my Thanksgiving recipe video. Okay, bye guys.